Daniels here's back with another review and I am showcasing here a pretty um, pretty awesome set by Scott Peterson or Peterson should I say now this set was made around roughly 2019 I believe this is not my set uh, I'm just being a bridge for somebody else overseas uh, somebody wanted the set got a hold of a seller the guy didn't want to ship overseas so I'm the bridge to that. So we got this set here. It's the Edward Scissorhands uh, set, obviously. Uh, and this is the DX that came with the civilian. And obviously the regular uh, outfit that Johnny Depp wore as Edward Scissorhands. In the movie Edward Scissorhands, which was one of the movies that scared me the most as a child. I shit you not. It literally did. And I still get this weird feeling when I watch this movie, but it's still it's an amazing movie. So, this set isn't perfect. I owned this set, and it's kind of interesting to see my take on it as I grew in this hobby and what my tastes came to be and me kind of learning how these things are made and where I think maybe it could have been done better or where it excels in amazingness. So, let's start here from the regular Edward Scissorhands. Obviously, he's not Raz al Ghul from The Dark Knight, even though he is sporting a pretty dark outfit. So, we have the sculpted feet that Peterson did. And those are perfectly fine. And uh, obviously they have a lot of wiggle movement. And uh, they move just like any one six scale feet do. So they're poseable. Then you move up. You have the outfit done by Yunsel. Now this outfit is very hard. It's very detailed. And it's done with real leather. All the individual rivets are put on there. Or either painted on there. Let me get there. Let's see if you can see over there. Some more... Metal bracing, all these different intricate belts with upholstery and brackets and just all these little gadgets. So obviously this took time. And this is one of the most intricate outfits you can do other than like a Hellraiser uh, pinhead outfit. Now then Peterson made the hands, the scissor hands, I believe. And uh, they're very fragile. Uh, so let me just add, talk to you about this piece in this outfit real quick. Let me just back up. This piece, I would never own my collection because it is so fragile. Now I say that not because it's a bad piece. I say that because it literally is fragile. Right here, it's already broken. This little metallic arm, not a metallic arm, but metallic uh, hinge over here was supposed to be glued over there. But it literally broke in shipping to me, but... It, it's an easy fix. The customer is going to glue it. Also, uh, the all the rings and everything, they fall off. They really do. One actually popped off, but I saved it for the customer. It's in the box. So I have big issues with outfits that I don't see lasting unless they're like maintained like a child. You know, plus it's leather. Eventually it might rot. If you don't take care of it, it could last a really long time. It could even outlast us, but it depends if you take care of it or not. But it's just way too much of a dangerous piece for me to hold. That's why I sold mine. And when I sold mine it, and I shipped, all the hands broke. So I actually lost money on that. Um, another thing about the hands. Spectacular. They're amazingly sculpted. Let me just give you guys a better view. Amazingly sculpted. Okay. Just details for days. Details for days. Uh, so you really got to commend Petrosin on even wanting to tackle this figure. You guys can see all that other work. And this is all Yunsel right here. But the hands are amazing. Now, one thing about the hands. I do not know what material he printed it from. I hear it's metal. I don't know if it's metal. It could be resin. 
but I think it's metal because all the paints on most of these have faded. Uh, it was actually a white color. I repainted all these hands for the guy that bought these. He wanted me to retouch them up because he was like, hey, help me out. I don't want to sport them with those um, white hands. So I have a picture of these, which I'll, uh, of the hands prior to the paint. So I'll show them to you there. But I don't know what it is. It obviously had some rust going on with there, like some brown marks were showing up, all the paint faded. So I don't know if it's because there was no primer or there was primer, it didn't like adhere well to the material. I'm not sure if it's metal or not. I know many parts of this is metal, but the intricacies are amazing. The hands, you can actually move all the blades. Very fragile. And this is the part that actually broke off. It's supposed to be attached to there. Kind of like that actually exactly like that as you guys can see it's off so there's that one thing i don't like about this outfit is that the proportions are a little too big and it's too loose it was actually a pretty tight outfit on edward and that's something i feel like hot toys honestly did an amazing job on um so i am getting the hot toys edward scissor hands so that is on the way also this ring on the belt fades on a lot of them so i repainted it uh to the color that the customer wanted who, the owner of this set and he wanted the silver just like um he had in the movie so i did that then we move up to the head sculpt and there you go you have a head sculpt of johnny depp by scott Pedersen. now i own uh the dead man by scott Pedersen, which is another johnny depp character played by johnny depp obviously uh it's a black and white movie i love that set and I feel like he captured Johnny Depp uh, better in that set. I don't know if it was a later one or an earlier set. Something about this head is a little off to me about Johnny uh, about Johnny Depp. I don't really see Johnny Depp. You know, the paint is fine. It, the eyes are painted beautifully. But just, honestly, the face resemblance is not there for me. Um, and the hair, something very hard to stylize. But he did the best he could. And uh, it's tough, man. <clears throat> so, I give him a huge hand hand and applause to tackling this human faces are not easy i know scott peterson is doing a brand new rerun of these i think he's doing a set of five uh, and some are able to be this dual dx set that you see here uh i know the price is definitely gone up so i don't know what it is now but i know that it's definitely more from what i've heard so it's still the same outfit by yunsel definitely hit him up and uh he's doing a brand new head which I gotta, I gotta say, the new head looks spectacular compared to this one. So, definitely, definitely hit them up if you guys want one of those with the updated head. Because I think they're going to be pretty good. Uh, but like I said, man, intricate outfit. Just way too much for me to even handle. I couldn't imagine doing this. So, the fact that Yunsel and Petterson did this, God bless them. They absolutely did a killer job on this outfit and dude i gotta tell you the hands are amazing just something happened with the material with the paint fades on most of these Should let me give you a perspective shot at the back as you guys can see intricacies for days like this is no joke the chain right there look at all that i mean jesus come on amazing and it even has that's right there. There you go. Oh man, it's perfect. All the details are day are there. Just the proportionings off. The hands are absolutely amazing. It's 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 a hard thing to sculpt these hands. So, sculpting ten out of ten on the hands. Uh, I don't know what happened with the paint, how they fade. So that's a low outfit's amazing, but the proportions aren't there for me. And the head, uh, it falls flat for me, but dude, for the overall package and what the price point was, I think the original price point for these was two grand or 2.2K. So and you couldn't go wrong. I don't know what it is now, but this was definitely worth it, if not more, for what you got. Then we go to the other accessory that comes with, obviously, the hands that his father was building for him before he died and had a heart attack, I believe. And these are sculpted beautifully, painted beautifully, and they come in the box that Edward Scissorhands' his dad presented him with, his maker. So, amazing. And we have obviously Scott Peterson's COA. I love the silver. 
Lonely Boy Grand DX. Oh, 2018, sorry, not 2019. Scott Patterson, and there's 13 of these out there. And then we move on to the civilian outfit, which he still has the shoes. He has another Yansel outfit. He has the hands, which you guys can see, it's no different than the other ones. And he has, obviously, the shirt, the button up shirt with the straps. And obviously, they got all the staples in there, which is awesome. Now, the, I don't know what kind of material it is. It feels like a paper material. I'm not saying it's paper, but it feels like something like that, uh, the straps. And then you have the uh, part of the outfit under. So the outfit only stops there. Under, it's a completely naked body. You do not have this full outfit under there, which I wish it did have it, but I understand for proportion and control, it would not have worked. It would have made him seem a lot bul bulkier. And then obviously you have the same head here. Honestly, if I had to pick which one I'd rather want, I want the civilian version. And I don't know if you only got that on the DX set. But I think both are just very rare sets. I think that when you bought these, you got your value, if not more value, um, than what you paid. So, and the details are for days. So I gotta give this whole set probably a solid... I gotta say paint, like I said, paint, I'll give a 8 out of 10. The sculpting on the hands, the feet, I'll give a 10 out of 10. Uh, the paint, just with the issue with the hands, is kind of its own factor. And uh, the outfit, I gotta give, honestly, just on the fact alone that it was tackled, and that it's real leather, and all this intricacies, other than the proportioning, uh, I gotta give an 8 out of 10. The proportions are very important for me. Um, this civilian outfit, 10 out of 10. Uh, these are the same hands, obviously. And... Um, what did I say? The head sculpt, the head sculpt falls flat for me. I'd give it like a six out of ten, to be honest. Uh, paint on it, I give it like I said, uh, a, a higher rating. Uh, so other than that presentation, ten out of ten. For value, ten out of ten. Uh, and this, this is actually the boxes that they come in. It's like these magnetized boxes, kind of like Rayman uses, but obviously it's just black. Sometimes he has his logo, Scott Peterson art on there. But still, an amazing job. I had this set. Holds def definitive value, and it's one of the rarer sets out there. And I cannot wait what he does with the new set. I cannot wait to see the updated head sculpt. Because with the updated head sculpt, this will be a fucking home run, I'm telling you right now. So definitely hit him up. See if he's got any available. I don't think he does. Maybe he does. I don't know. But other than that, guys, let me show you that back of this. This figure. I hate handling this piece. I really do. So that's my thoughts on this set now on my updated uh, thoughts on this because I've reviewed just this figure in the past. Well, my friend reviewed it. But um, <clears throat> this is what I think of it now with uh, all this more being into the hobby for at least five years now. So it's definitely something you just change and adapt. But still, amazing set. Definitely pick it up if you can for the right price. And as always, guys, stay sick, conquer your collection. I've been your host, Daniel Terzo, and peace. And thank you to the owner of the set who allowed me to bridge it and I could do the review. So thank you so much. Until next time, guys, peace.